Hello everyone, this is Rommels and welcome back to my network. We got a war. There's no sassy boy. Okay, let's go. Look. Don't look. Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Ah. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Mine! Okay, same, man. Yeah. <laughs> minds yet he certainly seemed real enough i hate to tell you the parts in your mind will be real too uh... <laughs> <laughs> why do i always find them after the fight is over he was guarding that way outside wait was there anything over there let's all okay, get there is me and more loot Everyone knows me by now, if you have been a long time watcher, that I love loot. Okay, now we can go. Can't wait to fully explore this place once I have all the power-ups. I'm gonna try to 100 this game. Did he call me Pablo? This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Oh, yeah. 
suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. Hmm. <coughs> oh yeah, I love blue. I have to pay more attention to the environmental stuff that I can do against my enemies. Because I am not doing a good job of it. That's okay. I'm having fun. Loot! You can never pass up on me. I do want a 100%. Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. <laughs> I mean, the voice acting here is great. The writing's great. It's, it's got a war from Santa Monica. Is it me or does this look like a boss? What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Oh, Look God. at that thing! Look at it! Nicely done! Keep on it! Go! Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Fuck yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Chaos. I can upgrade my chaos frame. Hey, can you? Oh. Oh, did you aim that like a while ago and then just didn't notice? Okay, sure. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. Blue. Ah, oh, smells like the loot. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear. But this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? <laughs> terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very <laughs> dare you! Babbling! <laughs> I love this. 
The door. Oh, that looks official. All right, let's give it a try. Mother. My boy. Feel everything. Walter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! This is all your doing, mother! I am so sick of your constant mess! What you did to me! What you did to me! You will not touch him. You will not harm him. Nobody harms my boy. But me. No! Freya! Brother, over here. Come get me. I want none of this. Kevin. Mimi! Secret? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Don't lie to me! Grab not her again. You served Odin from the day you met her to the day he put you in that tree! You saw a favor. You quashed his war. You watched him mistreat everyone and everything. And you never gave a damn until he turned on. No, I know, Stephen. It's true, all of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for peace, an ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scotty? To Grog? Or to Tanya? No! You all took the side of the powerful men who used them! Brother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a violent god in me, and you can't help but aid him and call him brother! It's who you always been! It's who you are! And it's who you always It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamiya! Brother, help me! He's a monster! Atreus! I am coming! No! Did I just get suplex? Mother! No! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? the test didn't feel much like succeeding I see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what Dave. is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them I'll ask her nicely easy girl easy 
That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the Norns put you through? No. Get on. Okay. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Okay. Let's continue on. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. <sighs> oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. 
Hmm. All right, total waste of time, but whatever. We must continue on. Hey, get us out of here. Get. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. There's a part of foresight in Galahorn. What is his destiny? I'll fuck him up. Fuck him up. Alright, like the devs. Nerf it to hell. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. Kratos, I see something. What? I see Luke. <laughs> Kratos, I see something. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. 
It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. Though, I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <laughs> Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? Ooh. Like the way you think. I'm here for you. Okay, so. Just checking in on me? No, 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 no. Place of chaos. Oh, great. Always a joy to work on these. Four. Excellent. You cannot upgrade those. I can upgrade this one. Wait, what am I? Am I just upgrading the wrong stuff? I am so to be clear, always at your finding service. the norms is not about altering events, yeah? I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. How can I help? Excellent. I think that's it for now. Okay. What else can we do here? There's at the compass, all these stuff, I don't know what they are, but they're just places where I can go. But all of this can be done in like separate videos. So for now, I can go along with the story. It's just right here. <laughs> Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Yeah, the dwarves know their shit, man. Come on. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What do you want? I'm a busy man. What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. 
In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Well, any questions before you travel on? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in writing past wrongs. Now please, take the capture device and see if you can find our missing leaned worms. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to it. All that We're said, I'm happy to discuss Hello. anything else on your mind. Wait, you got... you got dialogue? Huh? Alright. Let's continue on. They're back. Well. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. Well, what's going on? I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh... You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. Well? Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying? So now you intend to kill Heimdall? Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Even if he to What do you think? I think Enough. Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. 
If we have the chance to eliminate them, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap because that bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Oh, Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. To be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him, that follows you both. I'm sorry. You ready cat. to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Scaredy cat. Any dialogue from you two? I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold, but I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? Okay, let's go. See you out there. Take care of yourself. Hope you get laid. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you. Shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. It's my favorite. What was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither of the been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. He wants revenge so badly. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Claustrophobic. Wait. 
tunnel for liquor and explosives. A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing the culture you help undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. What? What does? Another oil spill. <laughs> ah, a fortuitous oil spill. <laughs> ah, never mind. take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> we all right. Every time after a battle, I notice all the environmental things that I gave you. <laughs> yes, you learn my lesson? It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate, the one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion.
and not upgrade it? What was that before? Yeah, it definitely does. Oh, can't upgrade it. Oh! Seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. It's open. sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. <laughs> ah, we've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? Wager we can redirect the water to get that wheel turning. The water rushing above us. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Is there 
another place to get to that room. We'll figure it out. Promise. Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. Where's the nightmare? Behind you! Watch out! There you go. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with a disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. Mm -hmm. God damn it, I just noticed it again. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it, you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turned. That's a start.
Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. Shut up, Freya. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Falky! Okay, well, this is where I'm gonna end the episode. Thank you so much for watching my shit again. Play it. Behave yourself. And if you don't, invite me. Okay, bye!